welcome to Fandom Forward's Halloween special. We'll be bringing you four terrifying tales, some of which can be found on the media list that we have posted on our Instagram, Clayton, G-A-L-I-B. That's Clayton, G-A-L-I-B. <sighs> okay. I'm ready to tell my story. The year was 1999. It was December 31st and I had spent the entire morning in Walmart with my cousin Vanika looking for the best gift. The one thing I wanted for Christmas and I hadn't got, the Millennium Furby. It was silver with a blue belly and I had to have it. It was crowded in the Walmart. People were preparing for something Y2K, this insane thing where they believed that there was gonna be a computer glitch and everything was shut down. I did not care. I needed the Furby. I looked everywhere, I couldn't find it. And then, as I turned to my right, there it was. The very last one, the special one, the one I needed. I took it home and I played all night as the grown-ups sat around the TV watching, scared, waiting for the ball to drop in New York or the piece to drop in Atlanta, and I played with my Furby. Everything was good. For the next day, things seemed to be a little strange. When I would walk with my Furby, the microwave would flicker or the lights would shut out. We thought it was a power glitch, but I tried not to worry. The next day, the parents, happy that the world did not shut out, decided that they wanted to have a party next door. So they went next door to Anna's house and all the kids went to my house and we played and the parents there were nowhere to be found. And I looked everywhere but could not find my Furby. So I went upstairs and I saw a green light coming from his head. I stared, it moved slowly, and then a strange sound come, came from it. And I noticed that the other electronic toys around me started to move. I had a tiny pickles that would crawl, and whenever people walked in the room, it would make a security sound, and it began to make a sound. I called down to my friends, help, help. As they ran up the stairs, the baby, got, the baby gate locked. <laughs> And then the Furby said, stay, play, stay, play. The other electronic toys began to move in. I had no idea what we were gonna do. As Anna moved to the right to jump towards a drink, she fell over and was bruised on her left arm. I then saw it, the red slushy, the one thing that I was not supposed to have in my room but get us free. I threw it on the toys. They began to spark and the fire began. The sprinklers came on in the house and the fire alarm began to sound. As I turned to look, the Furby was gone, nowhere to be found. The parents returned and we all got a punishment and were accused of setting fires in the trash bin. No one believed us and we spent one week in the house. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Join us tomorrow for another frightening tale. See you next time.